Hey everyone, welcome all doors to me, and I wanted to give you a little update with the hydroponic cucumber plant. Some of you might be wondering what's going on over here, and I actually wanted to save on space, number one, and number two, I was having a little difficulty pollinating these little cucumber by hand for some reason. Some, as they were appear to be like growing and getting nice and big and plump. After a while, they would just wilt away and fall off, and I, w I wasn't sure what's going on. So, just to make sure, I didn't want to like lose any more of the fruits, and I wanted to make sure I have nice little success. So, what I did was I basically took this entire tray and the jar that I grows in, and I placed it outdoors on my little fire escape here, which is really quite noisy at the moment. Some of you might live in the city like I do and don't have uh, outdoor space to grow in, so you might be limited to a little balcony or a little fire escape like I'm using. And as you see, if I take you closer to the plant, you begin to see the fruits are actually getting nice and large. Look at this one. And I can put my finger next to it. You can see how nice and beautiful that looks. And if I take you around, you begin to see there's actually nice fruit production all over the place here. So even though I did lose a ton of the fruit from trial and error and from knocking this thing and smacking it and a lot of other mistakes that didn't work out which is perfectly fine because that's part of growing. Not everything is going to be a nice big success. But the nice part is we could start over like I did right here. Here's another little cucumber plant that I started. And let me just show you right here. This is a little damage that happened from um, cold, cold temperatures. It dropped below 30 several times and it kept going back up. And as you see, I just have this little cucumber growing up the vines and look at how windy it is right now I mean I had to tie this plant up and thankfully it's surviving there's a lot of new growth going on and once it gets sunny and this plant is going to continue growing on and grabbing on and if I take you in a little bit closer you could actually see there's already tiny new side shoots developing as well as flowers beginning to form so we're gonna basically take everything that we've learned from trial and error from this plant, all my experiences, and everything that we've discussed. And I'm gonna take you on as soon as this plant is ready to be hand pollinated. We'll try again and see if we have better success. But for now, these plants are growing, I mean, I'm sorry, the fruits are growing quite well. And soon they're gonna be ready to harvest and I'm gonna save the seeds and share it with everyone who signed up recently and I'll try to make sure I have enough seeds for everyone to grow this plant and hopefully they're nice and delicious and you guys are able to grow it and have a ton of success like I am here and for the first time I actually want to show you what the root system looks like slightly just a little preview so if I take you let me open this up Look how nice and big that is. And the reason it's looking a little bit yellowish is because now it's outdoors. And as you see, the jar has had some weather that it took on, some rain as well as a lot of wind. So now it has a lot of more white spots where the sun penetrates through. But overall, I would say it looks fairly healthy. And pretty huge in my opinion look at this I mean it goes all the way down to the bottom there unbelievable and a little glass jar nonetheless supporting this nice beautiful plant and I know the plant's doing well because look at all these nice side shoots that are shooting off and there's nice new flowers being formed all over the place here 
and like I mentioned earlier, these little flowers here, these are the little male flowers. They're edible, they're really delicious. I'm just gonna eat that. It's been a little while since I've had a nice delicious little flower. And one reason why I think this plant was actually now working indoors was because it was the only thing that I noticed that was missing from what I'm doing, growing and outdoors here because there's no bees right now coming in to pollinate this thing. There's no bugs at the moment. There might be bugs, but there's definitely no bees coming to this plant. I think the only difference is the wind and the constant motion is actually making the, more of the pollen move around and then moves back and forth and smacks around the plant and it's able to pollinate most of these flowers that form by hand by the wind i think so what i'm gonna do is basically take that knowledge and bring that indoors and what i'm gonna do is simply add a fan and to, to the grow so as the plant is growing i'm gonna add a fan once the flowers begin to form and the fruit's starting to develop i'm still gonna hand pollinate the same way that we've been hand pollinating in addition to adding the wind hopefully it adds more of the pollen from motion and it's able to guarantee us a little bit better success and this was actually my first attempt at trying to grow cucumelons and when I first found out about this plant I was really excited and when I heard that these these things are the size of little grapes I had to try it for myself and this was a lot of fun to grow, and I highly recommend anyone who's interested in trying to grow this plant. Definitely shoot me a message, let me know that you're interested, and I have a video posted earlier where I'm going to have a free seed giveaway. If you're interested, definitely look at that, and hopefully you get some free seeds. I'm going to try to save as much as I can for all of you. And as always, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and share with a friend.